Hi, this is Kamesh. I work for ITAcademy.in. In this video, I'll explain to you how to work with cascading parameters in SQL Server reporting services. Before I show you the thing practically, let me explain to you what exactly we mean cascading parameters. With cascading parameters, the list of values for one parameter depends on the value chosen in preceding parameter. So that's how we will have multiple parameters for a report's execution and the whatever value we select for each parameter has an effect on the very previous parameter. So that's how all the parameters are interlinked. To explain to you this concept practically, let me take you to one of the database that I have with me called as AdventureWix LT2008 and the same can be downloaded by you from codeplex.com. I have with me a table called as salesLT.address and you can notice I have some fields that I'm actually going to use for this demonstration. Like country region, we've got state province and we have, we, we, we've got city as well. If I can show you what data I have in this address table, you can see there are some duplicate countries here and then in each country there are some duplicate states and, and in each state we got some cities as well. So my plan is to get this information country-wise, state province-wise and city-wise. So to get this done, so we will be having all to the three different parameters in our demonstration. Let me take you to SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio and uh, try to create a new project and I'll be calling this project as a reporting service report server project and it's going to be free videos exercises is the project name that I'm trying to give and it's a report server project and say okay so now you can see we are in a blank solution explorer and I'm trying to create a new report and I'm using a report template here and I call this as cascading parameters demo and I click on OK. So now you can see we are into this RDL file. So the first thing that I'm planning to do, I need a data source. So I click on add data source and I'm going to use an embedded connection. So what's my database? I type dot for my server name and then I select Adventure XLT 2008 as my database name and I say OK. And we simply click on OK. So now you can see I'm ready with my data source. Next, I need to get ready with my data set. So first of all, um, what I'm trying to do, I click on Add Data Set. I'm going to use a data set that is embedded in my report, which is data source 1. And what is the command that I'm trying to do? I'm trying to say select start from sales LT dot address. I click on OK. So now you can see all the fields that I have in the sales LT dot address table pretty much in my data set. So what's my plan here? Uh, initially, when I run this report, uh, I would like to see a drop down list filled with the country names. And when I select a specific country, another drop down list should come filled in with the state names of that country. And when I click the state name, then I should see another drop down list filled with the cities of that state of that country. So that's how we want to link them. So first of all, how do I get the list of countries and then how do I show them in a drop down list? For that, I need to have another data set. So I'm going to say select distinct of what's my field name country region from sales LT dot address ordered by country region pretty nice so you okay so now you can see we have a new data set called as country region and this is data set 2 and that is actually getting me the various countries in this address table next I will create another data set and this time I will say select distinct of state province from sales LT dot address table where country region equal to et of country region 
and this is going to be my first parameter when i click on ok you can notice here there's a new parameter that just got created called as country region so overall you can see now i've got three different data sets now one is getting me all the information from the sales LT dot address the other one is getting me only the country's information the other one is getting the states of that specific country let me go ahead and try to create another data set this time and uh, that's based on the same data search this time i'm trying to say select distinct of city from sales lt dot address table where country region equal to my previous parameter and state province equal to head of state province this is my another parameter so this is how we represent the parameter we are creating parameters as we type these statements the moment i click on ok now you can see we've got two different parameters here so we're almost done now so only thing i need to see if i can preview this report right now obviously um, seeing the country region as a text box and state province as a text box now let me come back to the design view and how do i see them as drop down lists let me double click on the country region parameters and then let me take you to available values and i should say get values from a query called as dataset2 is my country region and the value field is country region and the label for the drop down list is also country region pretty nice similarly i'll double click on the state province i go to available values get values from a query and this time i go for dataset3 and i select the state province as a value field and as a label field and i click on ok at this point of time if i take you to the preview you can see i see all the countries in my table in a drop down list of course the state province is not still activated if i click on a specific country then i can see the various states of that and of course if i click on the uh, specific uh, state then i should see the cities as well that's a different thing so as of now uh, let me also show you a small change in the data set one currently i'm showing you all the information instead of this i'm trying to say where country region equal to head of country region and state province equal to head of state province and city equal to head of city so basically this is the data set that is actually getting me the data based on these three factors now everything is nice just take care of the spelling the case because the parameters are case sensitive in reporting services click on ok now you can notice there is another parameter that just got created called a city and i double click on the city parameters available values get values from query this time i'll be pointing this to my data set 4 and i'll be showing you cities here pretty nice say so okay now if i can take you to the preview if i select a specific country if i select a specific state province i see the cities of that uh, state of that country if i switch to us and if i select california and i see the cities of that state perfect of course still uh, right now when i click on view report nothing will happen because i haven't still designed my report here so let's do the last thing here I'm, I'm into my toolbox i'm going to drop a table data region and then from the report data what fields would you like to see uh, for example let's say i want to see the country then i want to see the state then i want to see the city and maybe postal code and some address line one fair enough with that those five fields here now let's go ahead and try to click on preview so i select um, us then i click on so and so state and then i click on so and so city and when i click on view report we should be able to see a couple of people uh, from that city of that state of that country we have very less number of people from that state so to verify whether everything is work, working correct or not we keep we can we can change those cities or we can change the state name 
fair enough it's actually working correctly no props so now we can see some four people of this city of this state of this country so that's how cascading parameters works so overall if you see in this whole demonstration i have actually created four different data sets and each data set is interlinked this data set four is based on data set three and three is based on two of course one is based on all the three data sets and we have actually configured each parameter to get the values from a specific data set so that's how cascading parameters helps you to populate the values of the one of the parameter based on the preceding parameter selection as you can see now here how things are coming up that's how we work with cascading parameters thanks for watching and we hope this is very informative to you and if you would like to buy full length videos uh, please visit itacademy.in and we'll be able to help you on that thanks for watching enjoy your day and bye bye